Hey yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Nigerian Nomad channel. I hope that you guys are doing fantastic. So today, I want to share my experience of going on this whole Valentine experience that was offered by Landmark Beach with you guys. So I haven't actually been to Landmark Beach in a while. I've been going to like the other beaches that's close to me, like Good Beach is closer, So Beach, we've been going a lot there. A lot of the reasons because I felt like we always just never have good experiences with food vendors at Landmark. <laughs> and we felt like some of their things is a little bit outdated and old. And we sometimes can combine cabana sitting areas. We were just like, and the other ones were more refreshing. But going back to Landmark this time, I actually observed that they've updated a lot of their things that I thought was outdated. And the beach area was always just so filled with trash and dirt. It was, it was not like the Landmark I was so excited about when I first did a whole video on them that went viral. And I've probably got Landmark a whole bunch of clients. But last time, the coastline of the beach was clean, no trash. A lot of the furnitures were updated, which is good. I don't know about the food vendors. I've had too many experiences with them <laughs> that I'd never bother to try them again. But so yeah, so I'll say landmark, good job. If you guys are watching this video, I see the updates that you're making, well done. Um, so I haven't been to Landmark in a while, but the food vendors, please make sure that you guys scrutinize them. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. The video is about this Valentine's experience, which was very, very cool. So the, I got an email, their promo emails. I saw it on Instagram and I was looking for like something to do with my wife. And I saw this thing that they offered um, and it is a Valentine experience with, let me pull it. Um, yeah, they just call it Love at Landmark. So this event had um, a whole bunch of activities, which I'm gonna take you guys through one by one. Like archery was cool, boat ride, mini golf experience. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, the quad bike riding. Um, and then with a beautiful, lovely, romantic dinner towards the end of the night. So that was really, really cool. So this video, ew, and we got a chance to stay at their new resorts that I've been wanting to just check out to see what it's like. So yeah, so this video is to just take you guys step by step through the whole experience. All right, so um, the first, I actually think this was good to also get a chance to try all of those activities that they had. So the first thing when we got there, we were welcomed, very lovely, staff was professional. We had our own personal concierge that kind of went with us everywhere, guided us through the activities and kept us on time. So the first event was mini golf. This was very, very cool. I actually got to learn a lot about counting the scores of golf, it was cool. I did that with my beautiful wife. It was just a nice day for us to just hang out. So we played golf for a little while, learning about, you know, the different parts, the different holes. They had like level one, level two, level three, level four, five, six, seven, eight. So we did that for like, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour, something like that, maybe even less than that. Then after that experience, we now went to the, so that one was good experience, great, great experience. This staff was attentive, everything was great. Checkbox, that was cool. So yeah, you guys should check that out, that was fun. Then the next experience is the, um, the quad bike. That one was very, very, very cool. Um, we didn't quite have a pleasant experience with that one because they only made it one lap. So I would say if you guys are gonna do this experience next time, let people go like two or three times. So it seemed like the vendors were doing it according to like the price. Like if you pay per ride, that's what you pay. But I was like, oh, I thought this was the experience. We're supposed to enjoy it. So I, I couldn't enjoy it with my wife because I just went one time and we were trying to figure out how to ride it. By the time we figured it out, the time was already up. But overall, that one was a very, very cool thing that um, we hope to try again next time. So that was like the activity number two. Activity number three was like the archery. The archery was really, really cool. I got a chance to like learn how to, again, it's something that I've never done before actually. That one was very, very cool. The instructor was patient. He worked my wife through like how to do it properly, how, I, how to, you know, pull the arch, how to level the arm. That was like a very, very cool little experience to do together. And then after that, then we now went to the resort a little bit just to kind of chill, hang out, kind of do whatever we want. And then we now came back for the boats ride. I think this was around 5 p.m. The boat ride was one of the things that we've been looking forward to the whole time. 
But when we have, you know, when you have a vision of like how romantic it's going to be to kind of go on the boat ride, see the beautiful skylines of Lagos. So I would say the view wise on the boat was good. But one feedback that I'll give Landmark is they overpacked the boat. So I was even upset towards the end of that trip that they should get me out. So it, um, the couples did not get a chance. Actually, they ran out of seats. So like I had to stand the whole time like I was in a downfall <laughs> on the boat ride. And the, it, they packed too many people on there. So it felt like you were going on a transport somewhere rather than like the experience of the boat. Seats inside the, uh, For a little while I was like this is weird how can I how can I not be sitting with my wife <laughs> at this boat ride it was just not a good experience I was hot um, and then afterwards when I was sitting in that little dungeon they, t they told me that the boat was tipping that I needed to come back out again that one I don't recommend that boat ride just I don't recommend it it was not a fun one to f like a romantic one so yeah please when you guys do this experience take notes make that adjustment please that was not good <laughs> so and everybody was tight together um so anyways but overall i think that one was okay but that one was not my favorite so that one was another of the activities i hope i haven't missed any now the most beautiful one that i is good that they left this night it just made me forget about everything and it was just beautiful so the dinner was great you know we got a chance to go to the resort we got a chance to dress up wife got dressed up she was looking so beautiful and so cute with her dress her makeup her hair everything was on point just so nice then um we now went to have this like dinner under the stars at landmark beach with live music it was good walking there everything was beautifully decorated you know they had like the red roses and the flowers and they have the saxophone playing with smooth jazz they had the live music just beautiful so yeah we really really enjoyed that experience i got a chance to connect with my wife asked her some cool fun questions um yeah we just get a chance to enjoy each other um the food i think she ordered like a loaded potatoes or something like that and then I ordered like some sort of like spaghetti with like shrimp. The food was decent, not great, but it was good enough. And then, um, but beautiful, the life music lady was great. She like serenaded my wife. You guys can check it out. <laughs> and then we got a chance to also dance a little bit so we like you know dance had fun enjoyed the music And it seems that a lot of different beaches, restaurants, hotels in Nigeria specifically, it seems like they always have some sort of event on any special day of every holidays that you're doing. So yeah, so if you guys are in Nigeria around Valentine, definitely check out all the little Valentine experiences that different hotels and stuff offer. But overall, I just wanted to share my experience with this. I would give it like an eight. It was very good. Outside of the other little quirks that I think they can improve, I actually thought this was a very, very pleasant experience. And I am happy to come back and watch this video years, years from now and reflect on good memories with my, with my wife. So I think that's cool. Now, the resort, I've been contemplating if I want to give you guys either to this video or show it on the next video. But you know what? Let me just kind of give you guys a quick uh, overview of the resort. And then you guys can come back tomorrow for like the full tour. Or oh, I'll add the link to the full tour of the resort underneath this video. So 
The Landmark Beach Resort is something new. It was very, very cool. So it's like kind of on the edge of Landmark. Beautiful uh, resorts. You can stay there. They even upgraded our room. Thank you so much. You can see like the ocean, the beach. Um, there's pool in the middle for communal. And there's also a pool outside. The bed was spacious. The place was very clean. Very, very, very good experience. So that is a, a general overview of my experience at uh, experiencing Valentine's in Nigeria for the first time, actually celebrating it at Landmark Beach. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. Oh, cost-wise. So they had different tier. So the ones that we picked because we wanted to experience everything was 285K. And then they had other thing. Let me, I know you guys like me to convert things to dollars. Let me convert it to dollars for you guys. Okay, so it was like $190, and this also included the one night stay, which I thought was actually, it's very decently priced. So yeah, that is my general overview of this. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, if you like more videos like this about life in Lagos and different things, different activities, make sure to subscribe to my channel or check out my life in Lagos playlist that has a list of all of our activities in Lagos, Nigeria. You would really, really enjoy it. Also, if you are looking to buy a land or build a house in Nigeria, in a place not directly in Lagos, but outside of the Lagos city center, and you kind of want to be in a nature inspired area that's very accessible to Lagos whenever you come, come and join our community. It's called the Green Paradise. Check out thegreenparadise.com or call the number underneath the screen. So check it out and we would love to have you join. We're still selling a plot of land for $6,000. All fees included for now. The price is not gonna stay that low for a while. Um, actually, we have some limited lands that we're gonna stop selling soon. So if you're interested, definitely key in. And lastly, guys, remember, it's your time to rise and let your light shine. Peace. Thank you.